Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem right away. We have 64 to the power of x equal to square root of 16 to the power um, square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 8. Um, this is very simple. But one thing that will confuse learners is seeing this square root, this multiple square root. They wouldn't know how to, do, to deal with it. But now let's look at how we're going to deal with this. This is 64 to the power of x equal to, now 16 here is under one square root sign, right? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We have 16 to the power of 1 over 2 then multiply by 8 here is under 2 square root sign so we have 8 to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 because of the 2 square root signs now well, let's continue 64 to the power of x will be equal to what we're going to do first is this we can just you know get the value of the square root of 16 Okay, square root of 16 is here, and it's equal to 4, right? Then multiply by 8 to the power of 1 over 4. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is this. We're not having the same base on the right yet. I want us to have the same base all through. By the way, 64 here is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 in 6 places. So, 2 to the power of 6 to the power of x is what we have on the left which will be equal to on the right we have 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 8 is 2 to the power of 3 but then the power of 1 over 4 is on the outside now there's a law that says we can always multiply two powers provided they are separated by um, a bracket just like we have in this case now, what we'll do is this. We have 2 to the power of 6x on the left, which will be equal to 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 over 4. What I've done is to multiply the powers there. Then I have to deal with the right-hand side first because the bases are the same. I can't cut across to the left at the moment because I have to deal with this side first. 2 to the power of 6x will be equal to the bases are the same pick one of them then add the powers 2 plus 3 over 4 okay now let's continue we have 2 to the power of 6x which will be equal to 2 to the power the lcm is 4 remember this could be over 1 right so 4 divided by 1 is 4 times 2 is 8 then plus 4 by 4 is 1 times 3 is 3. Let's continue. This is interesting, right? Okay, we have 2 to the power of 6x to be equal to 2 to the power of 11 over, over 4. This is what we have. And then from here, the bases are the same. So we can now work with the powers. So that 6x will be equal to 11 over 4. And then Remember, this could be over 1, so we can always cross multiply. And if we do, we will have 4 times 6x, that will be 24x, which should be equal to 11 times 1, and it's 11. From here, let me finish it up here. What I will do is to divide both sides by, by 24, so that x will be equal to 11 over 24. Okay, but my fear now is if we substitute this value of x into this problem, are we going to have the same value on the left and on the right? Now let's take a look. Okay, so we have x to be equal to 11 over 24. And the original equation is 64 to the power of x equal to square root of 16 square root of 8 okay so what i will do now is to deal with the left hand side first 
here we're going to have 64 to the power of x which is 11 over 24 right but can we simplify this any further the answer is yes i'm still dealing with the left hand side if we simplify this we see it 64 is 2 to the power of 6 then we have 11 over 24 right okay we can still simplify this because 6 will go here 1 it will go here 4 times right to go here 4 so this means we're having 2 to the power of 11 over 4 so this is what we have on the left hand side now straight to the right hand side on the right hand side we are having we are having um square root of 16 square root of 8 will this give us 2 to the power of 11 over 4 let's give it a try so this is 16 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by 8 to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 just like we did before so if we continue square root of 16 is giving us 4 very quickly then here we have 8 to the power of 1 over 4 now let's equate the basis we have 2 to the power of 2 multiply by 2 to the power of 3 multiply by 1 over 4 okay how did i get 2 to the power of 3 that is for 8 now i have to multiply this side first so that i will have 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 over 4 and then from here there's this you know rule of indices or law of indices that we will follow if you have the same base pick one of them and add the powers so i'll pick 2 and then have 2 plus 3 over 4 2 plus 3 over 4 so if i add this now what will i have this will give 2 to the power the lcm is 4 like we did before okay i want you to sit back and learn this is 4 divided by what is under here which is 1 is 4 then times 2 will give 8 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 3 is 3 and at the end of the day what do we have we have 2 to the power of 8 plus 3 is 11 then over 4 now let's compare this and what we got on the right hand side this is what we got on the right hand side and this is what we are having on okay this is what we got on the left hand side and this is what we are having on the right hand side they are equal so this is the confirmation that x is truly equal to 2 to the power of um okay x is truly equal to 11 over 24 so this is the value of x that satisfy that satisfied the given equation thank you for watching